We're very fortunate to have Dr. Deborah Rowe as our Earth Day keynote speaker this year. Environmental degradation and financial instability are most likely the greatest modern-day challenges to the citizens of this planet. The good news is that the solutions exist. Deborah Rowe is an expert in what business and higher education calls the triple bottom line of sustainability, creating healthier ecosystems, social systems, and economies simultaneously. You can actually create all three at the same time. The planet's going to be fine. It's just a question of what species are going to be able to live on the planet. Just go myfootprint.org, go. It was named the number one website um, recently, the website of the year, and it blew out the whole server, but it's back up now. You should be able to get on. And what you will find is that if you were a typical American in the United States, if everybody on the planet lives like you do, we'll need four to six planets of resources. Deborah Rowe has been helping the world understand issues of sustainability for decades. As a national leader in sustainability and a professor of renewable energies for 30 years, she is knowledgeable in the practical implications. I'll show you how to make a solar hot water heater out of an old refrigerator. One of my best friends is my caulk gun. We can take a trip to the junkyard. We can come back with the stuff that we need to make a solar hot water heater and solar space heaters for your house. I have the plants on my website. They are free. Go have fun. Most importantly, she also presents this crucial material in an entertaining and charismatic way. I have a girlfriend who's a lawyer at the UN. She walks around with a snorkel and a mask <laughs> because she represents the island communities. And she says, you guys don't get it. We're going under now. Don't get me giggling, we'll never get through this. How many of you had to take algebra in high school? Would you raise your hand or in college? Oh look, it's everybody. When's the last time? Anybody consider themselves a realist? Raise your hand. Uh-huh, okay, you realists? You, you aren't realists, you're pessimists. I know, I know you think you're realist, but you're not, you're really pessimists. And you walk around, you say things like, well, we tried that already. Or, it's just too big, you can't expect to make change about that, okay? So here's what I want to tell you. I know I have a good project to work on when I hear it and I get nauseous. That means it's big enough. Ignore the feeling of, I don't know if I know enough to do this, and do it anyway. Have fun doing big things. Deborah Rowe has been the keynote speaker at national and international conferences for education, businesses, governments, and the public. She has given speeches at hundreds of universities around the world, including Syracuse University, the University of Michigan, and Harvard. Why is this so important? We're the first generation capable of determining the habitability of the planet for humans and other species. We never had to deal with this before. Our life-supporting resources are declining, and the consumption of our life-supporting resources are rising. Now, I don't want to depress you, so right here I want you to imagine, so what are we going to do about it? And the public oftentimes doesn't know that we have solutions, that we can reduce human suffering now, environmental degradation now, and social injustice now. We can reduce all of those while building stronger economies. So the shift is happening, but it's not happening fast enough. Each presentation is completely customizable. She is very versatile and wants to understand each audience's particular needs. Do you know that if everybody in just California puts in energy efficient light bulbs, we can shut down 12 power plants? These light bulbs pay for themselves. You end up with more money in your pocket. She can explain how to reduce energy bills and unhealthy pollution at home or at work. How many of you have already turned your tank down to 120 degrees? Good, good. About a quarter of you. You know how to do this, don't you? You go down to your hot water tank and you turn it down just a little. You wait a couple days, you turn it down a little more, and then you'll get to a point where everybody goes, something's wrong with the hot water heater. I turn it and I can't, and, don't, and you say, oh, I'll go look into it, and then don't do anything for a few days. <laughs> and then you turn it down some more. She can discuss green and sustainable business practices and opportunities to include them throughout your organization to optimize environmental, social, and economic health. The challenge, oh, I'm already busy. This doesn't fit into my job description. But the truth is it's got to be in everybody's job description. And the reason I originally got involved in energy is because people were choosing between heating and eating. As a national expert, business owner, and professor of renewable energies, 
Deborah Rowe is more than qualified to give presentations on the emerging green economy. We're the only species on the planet that does a take-make-waste approach to creating product. All these students from all over the country came to Washington, D.C. 6,000 students showed up at the Hill to lobby around these issues of energy. And I'm walking down, and here comes this kid who looks just like my 18-year-old, and she's with four others who also look like they just walked out of a sorority somewhere. And they, they come up and they say, how did it go? And their faces brightened up. They said, we changed his vote. We changed his vote. When's the last time you went to a movie that gives a positive vision about the way civilization is going to go? These are the stories of empowerment. These are the stories of people, average people, making a difference. Although the details of her lectures may vary, the triple bottom line remains constant throughout. It's not about just having a lecture. It's about making a difference. And have fun. Turn the kids and turn your friends into energy waste detectives. She inspires audiences to improve the fragile condition of our environment and the atrocities of community insecurity while fitting all of this within a framework of maximizing an organization's or region's financial performance. So my students go out and do commercial energy audits for their final project. And I as a professor have made a choice. I could have given them a theoretical building and it would have been really easy to correct final projects because then I would have had a key. But it's, it's worth it because the students experience contributing to the community. So when your students graduate, they come out thinking, I can contribute to making a difference. And they bump up against how we need to change some of our laws and regulations. But still, the politics are that you have these vested interests of coal and oil in Washington, D.C. and in other places. And the only countervailing force to that is guess who? It's you. We got this great national trend going on, but we've got to get to a critical mass. So we shift the societal norms. We are leaders in the world. We can be better leaders in the world by choosing a sustainable future. Your minds will flower with new ideas about how to benefit from the emerging green economy.